Right, so the, the Signpost programme is, is a new programme uh, uh, just about to be launched by Chavisk, uh, and the focus of the programme is to uh, lead climate action by Irish farmers. And um, I suppose just listening to the President's remarks, uh, I think uh, the second objective of the programme is to uh, ensure the economic sustainability of uh, Irish farmers. Um, perhaps in presentations to date, I, I haven't emphasised that enough, but that's that's a, 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 a second objective of the programme. So uh, in terms of my presentation, I'm just going to have a couple of introductory slides, then present an overview of the programme. I have one slide listing uh, the key indicators uh, of success. Um, and I, I think when I put up that slide, you'll see that they align uh, fairly well with, with the uh, indicators of success for the Smart Farming Programme. Uh, and then the, the, fourth, uh, the next slide then that I have is in relation to uh, creating more sustainable farming systems using, using a win-win approach. So uh, reducing costs, uh, improving uh, profitability, while also um, caring for the environment through reducing emissions. And I have one slide then just to explain uh, what uh, work Chagask is going to undertake uh, regarding carbon sequestration as part of the program. So um, what, what, what has Chagask been doing in terms of climate action to date? I, I suppose today's research uh, has identified the tools and created a toolbox which can allow farmers to reduce emissions from Irish agriculture. Uh, and that's referred to and was published as the Chagask Marginal Abatement Cost Curve or the Chagask MAC. And I suppose uh, that report identified in its conclusions the, the need to now enable farmers to adopt their farming practices at pace and scale. And we really we need all farmers to engage with this uh, and, and to adopt the technologies um, that can reduce emissions. Um, and it's, it's not a case really of, I suppose, dipping your toe in the water that um, there's, there's a certain urgency about uh, adopting the technologies. And, and Chagas stands ready to help farmers uh, make those changes. And, and obviously, over the next number of years, we will continue with uh, new research into areas such as carbon sequestration, technologies to reduce methane emissions, and uh, also to reduce nitrous oxide uh, emissions from agriculture. In terms of farming's role, and I, I don't have to say too much about this, I guess, but simply to acknowledge it, I, I think the president's uh, opening remarks have, have highlighted the critically important social, economic, and environmental value of, of farming to the Irish uh, economy and in particular the rural economy. Uh, however, there, there, there is an increased focus of uh, the environmental impact of farming activities, uh, including greenhouse gas and ammonia emissions, water quality and biodiversity. But again, to reiterate what uh, the president has said in his opening comments, farmers are uniquely placed to be part of the solution as custodians or, or using the term uh, from the president's comments as stewards of the land. And you know this this ambition of achieving net zero emissions from from agriculture, but but also from the overall Irish economy, will not be achieved without the help and support of farmers uh, through the management of soils, through the management of our grasslands, through the management of our forests. So you know I I I, I support um, the president's comments in calling for the role of farming uh, in in the solution to the climate change challenge. Uh, I, I support that call. So moving on then to the Signpost Programme itself. The Signpost Programme is, is a national campaign to lead climate action, achieving early progress in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, there will be three elements to the programme. Uh, the first will be a network of uh, 100 demonstration farms uh, spread across the country for all enterprises, dairy, beef, sheep, tillage, uh, and other enterprises, um, and uh, all different soil, soil types and all locations. Um, and we have put uh, this network of demonstration farms at the center or the core of the program because we recognize the important role that demonstration farmers in, the, in local communities can play in influencing other farmers. So um, quite simply, farmers learn from other farmers. And we recognize that fact so we want to, in the first instance, work with a, a network of 100 farmers who will receive intensive advisory support to be amongst the first to adopt the technologies uh, which, which will reduce emissions. Secondly, then, we want to broaden out the campaign so that we engage all, all farmers and all, all students um, so that the messages from the signpost farms and also from Chagas Research 
can be spread uh, to all farmers and that we in Chagas, working in collaboration with uh, industry colleagues, can uh, support farmers to make the changes that are required. The third element of the signpost program is the National Agricultural Soil Carbon Observatory or NASCO for short. And I have one slide on that later in the presentation. But at this point, uh, just it's, it's probably just enough to say that this is a new research program by Chagas to answer the questions around the, the amount of carbon that's being stored in our soils, in our hedgerows, and in our hedgerow trees. Um, and, and one point then just to make on the program, uh, while the program is initiated by Chagas and is led by Chagas, uh, we, we want this to be a whole of industry approach and we want all, all industry stakeholders to be aligned around the objectives of the program. So we'd, we'd welcome working with the IFA as, as a partner in Signpost and we'd welcome working with the Smart Farming Initiative in, in some way through the Signpost program. So the objectives of, of the program then for the Signpost farms, the demonstration farms, it's to showcase the science-based technologies which can reduce agricultural emissions. So it's bringing that research and, and getting it into practice on, on these farms. And then in turn, those farms would act as hubs for the signpost advisory campaign. And they would also participate in the research work around carbon sequestration. For the signpost advisory uh, campaign, we want to mobilize all advisors, both our own advisors and teachers, but also private and industry advisors and consultants to engage with all farmers using a combination of channels in climate action. And we want to scale up the messages from our experience with the signpost farmers to all farmers through the wider signpost advisory campaign. So I suppose visually or diagrammatically, how do we um, visualize it? Um, so we, we, we see the signpost farms at the center of the, of the, of the program. Uh, and we hope that uh, the signpost farmers will engage all farmers and all students in, in a variety of means. Uh, so whether that's on-farm events or discussion group meetings or, or through digital uh, communications. Um, and then there's two important elements that I just want to highlight on this slide. The first is a farm sustainability plan and the second is our proposal for an annual uh, sustainability report. So in the first instance, uh, our advisors will work with the signpost demonstration farms to generate a, a tailored farm-specific uh, sustainability plan, identifying the actions which the which the farmer agrees to take to move uh, and the farm towards more sustainable farming systems. And the plan then is, is, is simply a record of those agreed actions. Well, a plan in and of itself is, is of little value uh, to the farmer, uh, I guess, unless the farmer has some way of monitoring progress uh, in the delivery of those actions and towards the achievement of the identified targets. So in that respect, uh, we're going to collect data from the signpost farms using the same methodology employed by our National Farm Survey uh, to generate at the end of each year a farm sustainability report. And that report will, will generate both uh, a set of financial statements, which will highlight cost savings or, or, or profit improvements, um, but also um, will also measure the, in, the, envir the environmental key performance indicators, such as the carbon footprint, um, sorry, total emissions from the farm, the carbon footprint for the farm, the ammonia emissions in total and footprint, nit nitrogen use efficiency, phosphorus use efficiency, uh, and, and other measures as well. That's, that's just a, a, an example. So we'll hope to have a, a better picture of um, what impact the changes are having in terms of uh, uh, um, farm profitability and also in terms of in the environmental impact of farm activities. And look, we, we anticipate that the adoption of um, sustainability practices or more sustainable practices, um, we, we anticipate that we will be able to show as the Smart Farming Initiative has shown that the adoption of such practices can lead to cost savings uh, for the farmer. Um, so my next slide then is, 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 there's a lot of information on it, but um, it's, it's listing the, the, the indicators of success for the program. So I suppose that the top line ambition of the program uh, is, um, is emissions and the reduction of emissions. Um, and we want the program to, uh, to enable farmers to contribute to the national target of reducing emissions from, from agriculture. And, you know, that target, that national target, I think, 
means very little to an individual farmer. You know, so I'm often asked, what does that mean for my farm? So we've come up with the, the target on the second line for dairy farms, but equally we have a target for, for beef farms and for sheep farms. So for dairy farms, we think it's possible to reduce greenhouse gas emissions per kilo of fat and protein corrected milk by 40%. And, and that would put us, um, you know, as a world, that would um, as, um, position us as a world leader in terms of the efficiency of milk production from a greenhouse gas emissions point of view. How are we going to achieve that? Um, all the other items on the slide uh, will help us to achieve that. So they include uh, improving pasture productivity, uh, having an appropriate stocking rate for the farm, uh, reducing fertilizer use, and also getting better value from the fertilizer that we are applying, um, increasing sward clover content, um, switching to protected urea, optimizing soil fertility, um, uh, adequate slurry storage so that farmers can store slurry and then spread it at times which are which are more conducive to better uptake of the very valuable nutrients contained in slurry. Um, in the situation where you have a stable dairy herd, so you, you're, you've grown your herd to where you want it to be, well, then you need to look at optimizing your replacement rate and the, the herd, the average herd age. And the last one on that, the second last one on that slide is in relation to concentrated crude protein percentage. And the last one is in relation to biodiversity, a, a target. And I guess what I've, what I've uh, forgot, uh, I, I haven't included on this chart, and I've actually included it on an updated version, uh, is profitability. A, a, a key indicator of success for uh, our signpost farms will be uh, cost reduction or, or, or profitability improvement. So that's, that, that should be on that slide, and it's not. And the final point I want to make is um, Chagas stands ready to work with farmers to help them to achieve these targets. In terms of the, the wider signpost advisory campaign, uh, as I've said already, the signpost farmers will be central to the, the broader campaign, and we're going to make sustainability and moving towards more sustainable farming systems a primary focus for our advisors and teachers in the coming years. Just one uh, slide then on the link between profitability and sustainability. And what I've, what I've selected here for this slide is, is two images from the Chagas National Farm Survey uh, 2019 Sustainability Report uh, published um, last year. And the one on the, le on the left um, in, in with the blue ba uh, bar bars is from dairy farms, and the one on the right with the red bars is from um, dry stock, uh, uh, beef farms, sorry, beef farms. And both of them are showing the same trend. Um, what, what you have here is you have the, the top and middle and bottom refers to profitability. So the most profitable farms, th these ones here, have a lower carbon footprint than those with middle profitability than those with lowest profitability on dairy. And likewise on, on, on beef farms, those with the highest profitability the, the, amongst the top uh, one third of uh, beef farmers in terms of profitability have a lower carbon footprint per kilo of lightweight beef than those with middle, middle levels of profitability than those with uh, the lowest levels of profitability. So my message from this slide is that um, improving sustainability, uh, in this case, reducing greenhouse gas emissions can lead to higher levels of profitability on farm. So my, my second last slide chairperson is just dealing with the National Agricultural Soil Carbon Observatory or NASCO for short. This is a new research experiment which is uh, being launched or just starting, sorry, by Chagas uh, with, the, with the support of our Department of Agriculture and, and other funding agencies. Uh, and this aims to uh, answer the question around the amount of uh, soil carbon stored on our, sorry, the amount of carbon stored on our farms, in our soils and in our hedgerows and hedgerow trees. Um, there is some inf information available currently, some estimates, but more information is required so that farmers can get the credit uh, for um, storing carbon in their soils and hedgerows. So this will involve taking deep soil samples using this type of equipment here from soil on, on each of our signpost farms. So our signpost farms will participate in this research experiment. And we're also going to measure above ground carbon stocks as well. Uh, Chagas for this experiment also has uh, secured funding for 12 of, of these, what are these um, pieces of equipment here, which are called carbon flux towers. 
And these will be strategically sited uh, on farms, on 12 farms across the country based on so soil type, management practices, stocking rate, and so on. And the ambition is, is that the data generated from the various measurements taken will allow Chagas to create estimates for carbon sequestration on different soil types, different types of farms, different management practices, and so on. And measurements are going to start in 2021. So uh, in summary then, Chairperson, uh, Chagas Research has identified solutions to enable farmers reduce emissions from agriculture. The challenge now is to deliver this research into practice. The signpost program will lead climate action through a whole of industry alliance, a network of demonstration farms, an advisory campaign to engage all farmers and ongoing new research. Uh, thanks for the opportunity to speak with you this morning. Uh, my contact details are on screen at the moment. I'm, I'm happy to take questions in the, in the Q&A session later or happy to talk to anybody uh, individually following the, the, the webinar. Thank you.